So we are finally on the road. This is our first trip of the year. We wanted to be on the road at like nine, but it's three o'clock, it's okay, it happens. We had a crazy week and we had to make sure that all of our stuff was done and we wanted to get groceries and fully set up um, the inside of the RV. It does mean we will be arriving in the dark, but that's okay, we'll, we'll figure it out once we get there. Just excited to be on the road and start this season off strong. After traveling the U.S. in our Airstream base camp for three years, we realized that this year could be the year that we hit the halfway mark. So why not go for it? We've made it. It is definitely dark and this was a wet spot. So uh, we're definitely not even. We've sunk into the ground a little bit, but it's something. We'll deal with more things tomorrow. Tonight, we're just gonna basically get in bed and go to sleep. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, after arriving late last night and just basically going straight to bed. Wait, where's my phone? Oh my goodness. <laughs> For real, where is it? Oh God. Wait, stop. <laughs> I think it's inside. Yes. <laughs> well, while I'm waiting for her to get her phone, we're at a state recreation area in Southern Indiana for the eclipse. So we're going to be enjoying the weekend before the eclipse and doing a bunch of stuff. So right now we need to go get gas, we need to get breakfast, we've got a couple other things. So we are going to do that and, uh, and go from there. So as we get started with this season of rolling to 25 and trying to get to a bunch of new states, we have to acknowledge Indiana is not a new state for us. It's one that we've been to before, but that's where the eclipse is happening. So we wanted to use our first trip of the season, which is usually something to little shorter and something that's more comfortable to make sure all the systems are working after we've dewinterized and just do that because the eclipse was there and it was close to home. But with the eclipse happening on a Monday, we decided to take the full weekend and drive down early. We wanted to explore the area, do some hiking, as well as kind of prepare and be in the place that we wanted to be for the eclipse. So we booked this campsite many, many months ago and made sure that we had the time and space to explore the area as well. So one of the main reasons that we have the Airstream is being out in nature, so we're definitely going to do that here as well. So we're really trying to prepare for Monday and just being there, so we're taking it's this up. Very hot. I know, I told you it was very hot. <laughs> so we're just kind of checking out town. Uh, it's a really cute college town here in Bloomington. There's a Verona Cafe where they had all of these like very Italian, uh, I don't know, realistic drinks? <laughs> what should I say? What does that mean? I don't know, like it was legit in there, it felt like. Legit in there. It was legit Italian. I didn't go in, like. I was with the dog, so I can't It's a European speak inspired, and I feel that. And it's called Verona, and Verona's in Italy, and all the machines were like Italian. Mm. And a lot of this was to order. Good coffee. That's what I'm telling you. It was whole grain, or whole grain, whole bean. <laughs> whole bean. <laughs> whole bean. <laughs> whole, whole grain coffee whole grain is coffee. not what I want. Yikes. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anyways. So we're gonna get some water, more water, and then fill up on gas and check out all trails to see if there's things. There's a national forest around here, the Hoosier National Forest. Go on some of those hikes so that Monday we can just stay put. Well, we got our coffee, we got our breakfast, we got our gas. And so now we're going to finally get out into nature a little bit, do some of the trails around here. This recreation area is right within a national forest and there are some uh, different trails, different loops, different out and backs. So we're gonna go try a couple of them, a couple today, maybe a couple tomorrow, and see what this area has to offer. So from afar, it looks really brown and blah, but the forest is like coming to life. There's these purple flowers down here. There's 
like these dead trees that are giving a contrast or these dead leaves that are giving a contrast to the budding leaves up there and then there's these pine trees so it's just like this mix already like just coming to life <laughs> no way, Chip. No way. We wanted to take a minute and say that this whole series, Roll Into 25, is brought to you by you. We do not have any sponsors for this series, but we are supported by you. And there's two main ways that you can do that. One is by subscribing. That doesn't seem like a lot, that's free to you, but it does help us out. The second is by using the links in the description to make some purchases. If you are looking to get started in RVing and are looking for those essentials, or you want to maybe pick up some of the fun items that we have around the RV, around camping and hiking. There are links in the description that don't cost you anything extra, but allow us to get a little bit of financial support on the back end. So there are links to Amazon as well as other retailers like Rocky Talkie. And these are all items that we recommend. They're items that we still use. And the things that we say, you should purchase these. We're gonna stand by these uh, as long as we continue to use them. So. Just want to say thank you for your continued support of this series, and that is how you can support us as we bring this type of content to you. Now let's get back to it. We're back at the same coffee place that we were at yesterday. Because sometimes when you're traveling, you just find that spot, right? That you're like, mm, yeah, they make some good coffee. And you're not going to get that back home, so you go back. So we are getting some breakfast sandwiches and coffee this morning before heading to a slightly different area, a different uh, forest uh, to go do some hikes and then uh, hang out at camp because we know that things are going to get crazy as everybody starts showing up today for tomorrow's solar eclipse. It is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday with the solar eclipse. We know a ton of people are going to show up today. We know that there's going to be a ton of people coming in tomorrow as well, but Chip, it's okay. Mama's coming back. She'll come with, with breakfast. Um, so that's the plan. That's the plan for today. We're gonna do some hikes and then go hang out at camp and just hunker down and get ready for tomorrow. on the trail and we're not even a quarter mile in and it's already started raining luckily we do have rain jackets with us and it shouldn't be too bad but we'll keep an eye on it and hopefully hopefully can enjoy this trail for a little bit
to be a pretty nice day. There's been really very few people out here. The sun's peeking out. There's a nice breeze. It's a little muddy, but overall, you know, it's April, so it's hit or miss. I think this is a pretty nice day to be out here. Stop by the general store to get a little snack. We are back at camp. It's definitely filling up. And we're just kind of hunkering down and gonna hang out until the eclipse tomorrow. had a little bit of rain this afternoon as we've been enjoying dinner in the Airstream. Now I'm taking Chip on a little mini walk, but there's a full rainbow and a little bit of a double rainbow happening right now. squeezing in. Did you press record? I pressed record. Oh. Today's the day. It's pretty exciting. It seems like the weather is going to hold out. I mean, it's really warm. It's so nice out. It's in the 70s and it does say it's going to be like partially cloudy. So I think we're going to get a good view. I saw a weather forecast that had it like it was going to be here in the morning, but it was going to pass. There's a big curve like in Illinois okay. that was going to make it here to Indianapolis. It was like Cleveland that was like right on the edge of like, is the kind of gap going to get all the way to Cleveland? So I think here in Southern Indiana, we should Fingers be okay. Crossed. Right now it's really good. But We're kind of we'll T see. minus three and a half hours. So From totality. From totality. Yeah. But yeah. it's, yeah. We have made the trek down from Chicago to Bloomington, Indiana, which is about four hours so that we could be smack dab in totality. We booked this camping reservation about six months out. There's some really strict rules today, like <laughs> you cannot come and go, and you can only leave after the full eclipse has happened, not just totality. And we know this is the last solar eclipse that's going to hit North America for 20 years. So the next one that's going to be is going to just briefly hit like North Dakota and it's going to be in 2044. And then in 2045, there's another one that will kind of span the whole country. But it's going to be a while. So we wanted to make sure that uh, we made the effort that, to, to be here. The fact that we're going to be like in our mid-50s for the next one. <laughs> well, it's, aging um, is a, a blessing. Yes. So. We're going to try our best to capture the whole thing that we are going to uh, take photos with this camera. We already have a game plan. hope it goes well. <laughs> I hope it goes well. We have, uh, this camera is going to be used for photos. We have the solar. You should um, get it. It's, it's... So we got this bigger lens that's going to be able to get the sun and then this little solar lens thing that goes on the front so that we can actually take photos of the sun. We're going to do that for photos. Hopefully those are amazing. And then we have the Osmo that we're gonna set up for the scene so you can kind of get a vibe of what's happening uh, and just kind of see the whole totality as it goes dark. And then, and then our phones. Yep, our phones, which we cannot hit. I'm going to be so careful not to put it to the side. <laughs> yes, cannot do that. So that will be able to like vlog and tell you kind of what's going on. 
uh, and how we're feeling about it all. Yeah, and we do have sunglasses. I ordered them from um, a planetarium to make sure they were legit, but this campsite did provide us with um, a set of sunglasses, and you could buy them. I don't know if they're running low or what's going on there, but I didn't want to chance anything, so I ordered them several months ago. We're ready, like, just hoping that the weather cooperates. You're gonna have to go into your house. <laughs> he looked at me like, what? We came all the way here and I don't even get to see it? No, oh, Bobby. Come on. Come here. Well, I'm outside. Got set up. We have the, uh, the camper chairs. And I got the whole camera set up right here. How are you feeling? You getting excited? I'm ready. I got my stuff. I got my chair. I'm not going to point my phone at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. But it's going to be cool. So this is supposed to start just a little tiny sliver in about 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes. And all I can do is just like walk around on my antsy. I don't know what it, I just can't sit. I'm not patient. I'm getting too excited. I moved in front of a branch. <laughs> We're only about 10 minutes into this and it's already so cool being able to get these photos, be able to see that curvature kind of coming in, cutting off some of the sun, getting the photos and video, trying to get everything for you. It's amazing. What do we got? Filling the time with some ice cream, some Oreo bars. These things are gems. So the campground rat has a little general store right across that we can like see from our campsite. So uh, didn't have to miss much and just ran over there, got some ice cream for us. So we were about 20 minutes out from totality and you're just a little bit of a sliver left. So it's kind of crazy that there's still 20 minutes left, but you can already feel the temperature dropping. You can already feel the light getting a little bit softer. So I'm guessing within totality, it's gonna be totally different than it is right now. Less than 20 minutes to go. It's already so weirdly dark. I know it looks like daytime to you on this camera, but it is not. It is so weird. This is so, <laughs> I don't even know what to say besides this is so weird. It's like a horror film. Like, it's like a filter you look Yeah. That is wild. Oh my God. It's now completely dark. And you just see this beautiful ring around it. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm telling you it's three o'clock in the afternoon right now and it is pitch black. I've never, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. Whoa. Whoa. It just totally flipped from like a little sliver to this ring. Wow. How is this where we get to live? And, the, and now the sun's coming back out. That's crazy. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Wow. What's insane is the amount that it takes. To change, like, like just like a tiny little sliver different. of the sun. Yeah. And now it's like daytime again. Yeah. And yeah. you can't look at it. No, you can't. You cannot look at it. it like, As the tiny little sliver. That is insane. Whoa. I... That was so I'm gonna need like three days to recover. 
That was amazing in every way. Of <laughs> course. I don't know. Whoa. I, I think I like felt emotional in it. It was so cool. Like just that we get to live in the place and at a time when that happens and just getting to like experience it. Yeah. Whoa. It was worth it. Worth the drive, worth the camping, all of it. The universe is an amazing place. Yeah. I can't tell you what this experience meant to me. Seeing an eclipse like that was truly an emotional experience. I mentioned it a little bit, but I think I teared up a little bit. There was emotion there because it was seeing something just that the perfect alignment just means that there's so I don't even know how to describe it, but the the alignment of the sun and the moon and the earth to make that experience happen is so special. And I hope that if you ever have the opportunity to go and see and experience uh, the totality of a solar eclipse that you take it because it was truly amazing. But that does mean that we still have a few other things to do on this shakedown trip to make sure all of our systems are working. And unfortunately, not everything goes to plan. Well, to finish up this shakedown trip, we have to do all of the kind of tear down, get ready to go. We're gonna try and hit the dump stations. We thought that there was gonna be a line, but it doesn't seem like there is. So maybe we can do that before we hit the road and, uh, and get out of here. Looking pretty good. I could tell. Well, I'm going to be going down the side of the road because we just lost our camera somewhere and we think it was here at this train stop or train thing so I'm gonna check and see if I can find it so far no luck this grass is super tall so if it fell in here and even came down the hill at all. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. It really sucks because I literally just put a whole new mount, or I guess like plaque, uh, magnetic plaque on the Airstream before this trip. Apparently that adhesive was no good. <sighs> and that's not a catastrophic loss, but that is not cheap either. Do you forgive me? Yeah, I mean, how would it be your fault? I don't, you don't know. know where it fell off, and even if it fell, oh, there's hang gliders. I know, I just noticed this. Even if it fell off, like on the highway, you can't stop. I don't know. It's disappointing, but let's go home.